okay all physics lovers in the challenging problem series of physics this is yet another very challenging problem from thermodynamics as you can see in your screen the question states an ideal diatomic gas undergoes a process ab for which pv in the diagram is shown temperature at state a is t naught when process changes from endothermic to exothermic temperature of the gas is some 175 alpha upon 864 t0 so find the value of alpha so basically we have to find that what temperature the process changes from endothermic to exothermic so this before i proceed uh, let me explain few key concepts suppose this is a system and in the system if some heat enters so we say that q is positive and when heat enters to the system we say that process is endothermic that is one thing and when system rejects some heat mean heat leaves from the system so thermodynamically we say q is negative and that process is the exothermic that is the one concept and then concept number two in adiabatic process this is a pv diagram if we draw an adiabat like this adiabat is like this so slope at a point this is a tangent to the slope so slope at a point is obviously this is a pv graph so slope is uh, dp by dv and the slope is at that point this coordinate of this point is p comma v so slope at this point is given by minus gamma p by v and one more but the most important concept that i will use so once again suppose this is a pv diagram and in this pv diagram let me draw an adiabat so suppose this is an adiabat so obviously if this is adiabat so start from any point of the adiabat and travel along adiabat there will not be any change in q so uh, suppose i choose this path starting from any po point of adiabat and traveling along adiabat so obviously along this path q is zero i'm not giving derivation you can see the standard text and can derive for yourself and if i start from any point of adiabat and go to the point which are to the right side or the above that adiabat any point starting from any point of adiabat and go to any point which is to the right of the adiabat or to above adiabat in that process q is positive any point similarly start from any point of adiabat and go to any point which is to the left of that adiabat in that process q is negative so that is these three things we will be needing so to solve this question there can be two approach one approach could be uh, let me write the equation of the process very simple to write and choose a general point say uh, p comma v on this path till that point uh, i can calculate the work done from a till that point and find temperature as a function of volume so till that point i can calculate the change in put, change in internal energy so adding w and delta u i can calculate uh, q heat entered into the system from a to a general point say p so if this is the point where the process changes from endothermic to exothermic so whatever q i have uh, calculated i will just differentiate it with respect to volume so i will get the volume at which the uh, process changes from endothermic to exothermic and getting a uh, volume and then from the uh, equation of the process i can come to the temperature that is one approach and that will take a lot of time uh, there will be problem in calculating a general point and then till general point there are problem in calculating uh, w and then delta u so a lot of calculation will be there so there is another approach this approach will also uh, will be some calculation will be involved but not as much as in the standard approach so let's understand what we are trying to do so now uh, this is the same graph and i want to draw many adiabats this is one adiabat this is another 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 so these are the adiabats at any of these adiabat pv power gamma will be a constant 
as the value of constant become more and more will go from this adiabat to this 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 and this so let's see this adiabat here i start uh, this adiabat is cutting this graph a b at two points so starting from here uh, i am going like this so along this path i am going to the below adiabat so from here to here q will be negative so from here to here q will be positive same here starting from this point i am going here so from here to here from starting from this adiabat i am going to the down to the below that adiabat so q will be again negative so from here to here q is negative so from here to here q is positive from here to here q is negative and from here to here for some part q will be positive for some part q will be negative so uh, for this part i cannot clearly tell using this adiabat at where the process is changing from endothermic to exothermic so the best thing would be for me to choose this adiabat the adiabat the one adiabat which touches this graph obviously there will be one there will be one and only one adiabat that will touch the graph ab so suppose that adiabat is this this is an adiabat and this adiabat is touching uh, my graph ab at say point c this this is an adiabat now see clearly if i start from this point of adiabat and go to a along this path along path ca so the way i explained i started from a point on adiabat and go to another point which is below the adiabat so in the process ca q should be negative so going from c to a q is negative so but actually i have to go from a to c so in going from a to c the q will be positive q is positive mean heat is entering into the system so process is endothermic and now same way i start from this point of adiabat and go to point b so starting from a point on adiabat and go to another point which is below the adiabat so in this process again q will be negative so in the process c to uh, b uh, q is negative q is negative mean heat is entering into uh, heat is being rejected by the system i mean the system is emitting heat so that is a exothermic process so uh, while going from a to c to b a to c is a endothermic process and c to b is exothermic process so c is that transition point this is a point of transition or the point at which the process is changing from endothermic to exothermic so we have to find uh, temperature at this point suppose uh, the coordinate of this point is pv p comma v so we have to find the what is the temperature here and given that temperature at a is t naught so we will be we will find that so now the idea is clear now the thing is that uh, this is the adiabat this is the adiabat and this adiabat is tangent to this ab here the slope whatever is the slope of ab is the slope of the tangent at that point c that is the core idea now slope of this adiabat explained in the concept 2 is minus gamma p by v and the slope at this point is equal to the slope of this line as i explained because this uh, this is touching to this line so and the slope of this line a b is uh, this is delta v delta y by delta x this is a uh, 2 p naught and this is v naught and it is at an obtuse angle so that slope is minus 2 p naught by v naught and it is a diatomic gas so for diatomic gamma is 5 by 7 by 5 so 7 
by 5 p by v is equal to 2 p naught by v naught so uh, i have p by v is equal to how much 10 by 7 p naught p naught now this is a straight line a straight line its question would be of the form uh, y is equal to mx plus c in place of y this p in place of x that is a v so i am writing the equation of this process so this process is a p is equal to that y slope is there is a slope minus 2 p naught by v naught into v and plus y intercept see while going from here to here the volume is decreasing from 2 v naught to v naught mean that in decrease of volume v naught the pressure increases by 2 p naught so if i go from here to here volume will be further decreased by v naught so pressure will further be increased by 2 p naught so if i extend this line here so the pressure here will be 5 p naught that is the c so my equation will be uh, p is equal to minus 2 p naught by v naught into v plus 5 p naught 5 p naught So put it here, put this into this equation. So let me put it that so minus 2 P naught by V naught into V plus 5 P naught into 1 by V is equal to 10 by 7 P naught by V naught and simplify this thing. So that will be how much the first term will be uh, minus 2 uh, before that let me cut few things p naught this p naught p naught and p naught will get cancelled so minus 2 this v and 1 by v will get cancelled so minus 2 by v naught plus 5 by v and here 10 by 7 v naught for the simplification 5 by v will be uh, 2 by v naught plus 10 by uh, 7 v naught so if i take uh, that 7 v naught lcm uh, 14 plus 10 24 so finally uh, i've got uh, that v is equal to how much 35 v naught by 24 so this is the volume at which this is the volume at which uh, pressure process changes from the iso uh, sorry endothermic to exothermic but we have to find the temperature at which the uh, process changes from endothermic to exothermic so let us go to the next page we know that pv is equal to nrt so n is a constant flow system so t is proportional to pv so temperature is proportional to the product of pressure and volume so temperature at c is t and temperature at a is t naught so let me write the ratio so the ratio t by t naught is the ratio of the product of pressure at that so product of pressure and volume at c is a pv and product of pressure and volume at a 3p naught v naught so this is 3p naught v naught And once again, I will write the pressure equation from here. This is the this is a p as a function of v. So I'll put it there. So putting that p was how much minus two p naught by v naught into v plus five p naught, and then there was a v divided by three p naught v naught again let me cancel cut all this thing and now more simplification so first of all let me take uh, 1 by 3 this is a v by v naught and inside the bracket this is v by v naught so that is a minus 2 v by v naught and plus 5 so t by t naught we got v by v naught as a 35 by 24 so here 1 by 3 into 35 by 24 and this minus 2 35 by 24 plus 5 more simplification 
वन बाई थ्री थर्टी फाइव बाई ट्वेंटी फोर एंड द ब्रैकेट टर्म द एल सी एम वुड बी ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू फाइव वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी माइनस सेवन डेज फिफ्टी सो दैट इज दिस थिंग सो वी आर कमिंग क्लोजर सो नाउ वन बाई थ्री थर्टी फाइव इंटू फिफ्टी आई एम राइटिंग दिस हियर ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर See one thing. Uh, this eight sixty four. We check that eight sixty four is actually if you divide by twenty four. So you should get that twenty four into thirty six. So I'm just trying to arrange that. In a way, it is written so thirty five into fifty and twenty uh, four into thirty six. And then thirty six by twenty four. I think there is no harm. Now this thing is eight sixty four, and that thing will be three by two. So this three and this three will get cancelled, and that thing will be how much? That thing will be twenty five. So uh, let me just remove this. So t by t naught is equal to. Thirty-five into twenty-five. Thirty-five into twenty-five is thirty-five into five, into five, and this thing is a eight sixty-four. So this is one seventy-five. So we got t is equal to one seventy-five into five divided by eight sixty-four, and t naught. So my alpha is a five, and that is a one seven. Thank you.